Hello everyone, it's me Sir JR and welcome to Learning Science Channel, Simplifying Lessons, Upgrading Learnings. If you are new to our channel, please consider to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated for more science lessons. For today's video, we are going to study about species extinction and the different causes and factors that affects the extinction of a certain species that may yield to biodiversity loss. Are you ready? Let us start. Are you familiar with these animals? If yes, congratulations! The animal on the left side of the screen is known as the Philippine Tarsier. Did you know that million years ago, Tarsiers have inhabited rainforests around the world, but now they exist on only few islands in the Philippines, Borneo, and Indonesia. We are very lucky because in Bohol, the Philippine Tarsier was a common sight to behold in the southern part of the Philippine island. The animal on the right side of the screen is the monkey-eating eagle. The Philippine eagle is a giant bird of prey, a monkey eater that can only be seen in four islands in the Philippines such as Luzon, Samar, Leyte, and Mindanao. It is considered as one of the largest and most powerful among forest raptors. Sad to say, these lovely animals of our own are in verge of extinction. They are now considered endangered animals. How does it happen? If you are going to analyze the two pictures on the screen, you will notice that forests have high level of biodiversity than the city on the right side with low biodiversity. The arrow at the center tells that the human actions have resulted in habitat loss that accelerated the rate of extinction. As the saying goes, we are the creators of our own destiny. But for other animals, if we will continue converting their natural habitats into cities, sad to say, their destiny really depends on us. Organism species may either be threatened, endangered, or extinct. And we will talk about it one by one. Threatened species refers to any species of either plants or animals that is in danger of extinction. There are criteria used in able to classify whether species are threatened or not. Number one is the terms of their habitat destruction or modifications. Second is based on the natural or man-made factors that may affect their extinction. Third is about population size reduction, and fourth is the distribution of each species based on the geographic range. Threatened species can be classified into three categories. The first one are the critically endangered species. These are the species of plants and animals with extremely high risk of being extinct. Some examples of critically endangered species in the Philippines are the tamarau, the waling-waling, the Philippine eagle, and the dugong. Next category belongs to endangered species. When a species population becomes so low that only a few remain, the species is considered endangered and will possibly become extinct. Examples are botanding, the Mulave tree, and the Philippine turtle. And lastly, we have vulnerable species. These are the species that are not critically endangered, but is under threat. Some examples right here are tiger cat, a pitong tree, seahorse, and the Philippine ducks. So this time, let us go to the idea of biodiversity loss. Biodiversity loss is connected to species extinction. Always remember, extinction occurs when the last individual member of the certain species dies. Therefore, it is when there is no more same species that is existing. 
The extinction of species can be caused by two factors, either being natural cause due to environmental factors and anthropogenic cause, which are factors made by humans. Natural causes of extinction includes the following. First, change on landscape because of global warming and climate change. Second, it can be caused by meteor impact and cosmic radiation. Just like what happened on the extinction of dinosaurs caused by meteor impact. And lastly, is caused by extreme heating and cooling of the Earth's surface. Most of the mass extinction that occurs in the history of life here on Earth are caused by these natural causes. So this time, let us study the different anthropogenic causes of extinction. As I mentioned earlier, these are the factors made by human. First is the habitat destruction. Habitat destruction is considered as the primary cause for extinction, wherein it is connected to the different activities of humans, such as deforestation and oil spill. Next, we have invasive species. These are the species of either plants and animals that were introduced by humans for economic purposes. Some examples right here are the tilapia. The tilapia fish that, are, that we all know is not considered as a native species here in the country, but rather it was imported during the early 1970s as a response of the government for food shortage. Other examples of invasive species are the janitor fish and the golden kuhol. The golden apple snail or the golden kuhol were placed in different rice fields during 1980s as a response for food shortage. But later on, these apple snails reproduced so quickly and created a devastating effects in rice fields as pests. The third cause is due to population growth of human. There are more humans who need consumptions of different resources. The reasons why resources are being overused which later cause on the destruction of the environment. And because of that, it results to over-exploitation, wherein many resources are being over-harvested way beyond on what is really needed. Then, we also have pollution. Let us trace the different ways of how human causes pollution and the destruction of the environment. First is the acid rain. Acid rain is produced due to the high concentration of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. This sulfur dioxide emission came primarily from smokes coming from vehicles and factories controlled by humans. What happens is that the sulfur dioxide are concentrated within the atmosphere and later on, when it precipitates, it develops into sulfuric acid which cause acid rain. Another kind is the depletion of the ozone layer caused by the different chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs found in the refrigerants such as air conditioning units and refrigerators. And lastly is the eutrophication. It is due to the excessive buildup of nutrients within the bodies of water. Because of this, the amount of dissolved oxygen tends to lessen, and when there is lesser amount of dissolved oxygen in the water, most of the aquatic species found within those bodies of water tends to die, resulting to a fish kill. So, above all, always remember that life depends on life. So let us stop abusing the environment, as well as plants and animals so that we could live longer and of course the next generation can enjoy what we have enjoyed. Now is the time to embrace change. The only way to succeed over time is exceed the effort of making the environment safe for everyone. And that's it for our lesson for today. Hope you learned something on this video. And if you do, 
please hit the subscribe button and give us a like and share this video to others so we can help them in learning their science subject. Once again, I'm Sir JR of Learning Science Channel. See you again on the next video.